Greetings once again to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on uh, YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. Uh, it's me again, the uh, Celine driver, your, your buddy, and Zelos's number one fan, as can be seen by what I've got in front of me today. I've got another Zelos watch to uh, unbox and review for you. Um, if you're keeping score, and I'm sure nobody but me is, uh, this would be um, Zelos number 20. Uh, that's the 20th in my current collection. Uh, I've had more than 20 Zeloses, but I have sold off oh, three or four over time. Um, ones that uh, uh, weren't getting any wrist time, and uh, one of them, quite frankly, just didn't work for me. Uh, even though it's a lovely watch and it was high quality, it just, uh, just had to go. But uh, here's number 20. Uh, and uh, I've been looking forward to this one since uh, Elshin uh, announced that such a thing was going to exist. And while I'm babbling on, I'm going to try and get the outer sleeve to release the box, which it never does. Hey, Elshin, I think this is probably one part you've got to work on. Getting these boxes out of the sleeve you know it shouldn't take Thor's hammer to, to do it um, if I may make a pop cultural movie, movie reference you know I am an old man relatively speaking but Jesus I didn't think I was this infirm uh, slightly embarrassing but it's coming, uh, just off camera, but it, it, it's it's coming out. I've only got it about a third of the way out now. But I just don't want to rip the sleeve, you know. I, mean, you know, I, I kind of like to keep these things intact if I can. There it goes, ha ha, see? It's off. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Elshin. <laughs> Make it easier on us old folks, would you please? Anyway, typical Zelos uh, wood box of the current uh, generation. It has the little magnets up here. It has the twin hinges down here. It's beautifully made. It even smells good. But you didn't come here to see a box. You came here to see... A Zelos roll. And yes, I've already opened it and I've already sized it. So, you know, but I don't have any patience to wait. So, we're going to close that. We're going to open up the lovely blue Zelos roll. And I, of course, start to open it upside down, but that's fine. And you've got your uh, typical Zelos goodies here. You've got uh, an empty pocket there. Uh, you've got a uh, second Horween leather strap here, which in this installation I'm not going to use, but it does have the nice quick-release spring bars. So you could use it on another watch if you wanted. Have the Zelos warranty card, which uh, is slightly changed from the older ones. Uh, this is uh, number 24. It was purchased in August of 2019. It was purchased directly from Zelos. And that means it's over here. And it is... Uh, Ta-da! It's a swordfish. It's the Zelos uh, forged... Uh, is it forged? I think it was forged. Forged carbon swordfish. This is the um, second flight of stainless steel... Uh, sword fishies uh, that came out. Uh, we've already gone through one flight of them, plus the bronze ones have come out by now, and now a uh, new flight of um, stainless steel ones was released uh, just recently. And I opted for the Forge Carbon since I don't have a Forge Carbon watch. Oh, look at that. 
it was designed goes from kind of a glossy black to a matte black depending on how the light hits it otherwise it is uh, a typical uh, swordfish I mean we, we're all familiar with this style by now it's a true diver watch screw down crown screw down case back uh, 300 meter uh, water resistance full loom including in this case loom on the bezel insert 120 click bezel which has a beautiful click and solid solid feel to it no slop zero slop look at that and it is of course unidirectional you know, frankly, I don't know how Elshin does it. I don't know how he stays in business. He is offering these watches, which are fantastic pieces, at, at, at the prices he's doing it. I know how he does it. I mean, logically, I know how he's doing it. But my God, folks, the, the man is putting together value for money like nobody else out there, micro brand or not. Let's see, we had the signed crown. Let me open up the... Uh, bracelet so you can see the swordfish on there beautifully done just a lovely uh, I mean the, the attention to detail and this newer metal uh, bracelet uh, I, I it took me literally five minutes to size it I mean the screws went in and out beautifully easy um, there's plenty of micro adjustment as you can see I have it out on the on the outermost one and it, and it fits beautifully and it's nice and flexible at the ends so there's no binding uh, the the clasp has been redone a bit um, it's not the stamps it, well they never were stamp steel but they're they're rounded a little bit more and you have the nice push button solid click and the fold over lock so you are sure that this baby ain't going anywhere uh this is a um uh a, th a th very simple three-hander no date window um screw down crown two pops you can see it hacks you can you can play with that you know setting the time is nice and easy and now i've screwed up the time but i'll fix that later um You know, starts back up again. Nice positive push in and screw down, so you're not uh, you're not worried about um, whether or not it's secure. Nicely integrated crown guards. Look at the faceting on that. I mean, it's just wonderful machine work. Solid end links. Very nicely integrated into the uh, into the um, body of the watch. Give you a wrist shot. It's a little tight getting on there, but once it's on, I might put a link back in just because it's so hard to get on, but maybe I won't. Bang, bang, it's on. It fits beautifully on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Very short lugs. So the overhang is very minimal and it fits beautifully across the wrist. And it wears beautifully. I mean, it is not a small watch, but it's not overly large either. So, you know, it can fit a variety. I'd say it could fit six and three quarter on up. And it came with a lot of adjustability on it. So I definitely am going to have to put a link back in. I'll do that later beautiful watch and forged carbon dial is just beautifully and and i know that as of the day i'm making this which is like uh towards the end of august 2019 these watches are now sold out so if you want one uh, unfortunately they went really fast you're gonna have to look in the secondary market or find a distributor uh for zelos uh i ain't selling so don't ask 
Although if you want to make me an outrageous offer, I'll at least listen to you, but I'm not selling this. Uh, I got my sheet of stats here. Uh, this is, as we said, this is a Zelos swordfish with the carbon dial. So this is a, a V2 swordfish carbon dial. Uh, each dial is different. So every ceramic, uh, I'm sorry, every carbon uh, dial swordfish will be a one of one because of the uniqueness of the way the carbon lays out. It is a fully loomed ceramic bezel insert. I wish I had the ability to give you a loom shot, but if you really want to see one, if you go to Zelos' website, you'll see a picture. It's a 42 millimeter diameter watch. It's a 22 millimeter lug to lug. I'm sorry, lug width. It's a 48 lug to lug or tip to tip if you prefer, 48 millimeter. And it's a 13 millimeter thick with a flat sapphire crystal. 300 meter water resistant, as I said, and it is powered by the Seiko NH35 movement. So it will run and run and run and run and run and run. And it will keep very good time while it runs and runs and runs and runs. So I learned of this watch a while ago. Uh, I waited impatiently, as, as uh, Elshin knows, I'm impatient, but sorry. Um, and uh, when it was ordered, it was delivered relatively quickly. I don't think I, I think I only waited about a week between the order and getting a tracking number and then FedEx International did their usual good job of shipping and I saw it in three days. So, very, very happy with this. I, I like the new um, clasp as opposed to the older one was a little bit more square. It had the squared off corners. Um, this one fits a little better. I just undersized it a little bit. I'm going to put a link back in on this side. Since you can see I have, uh, these are screwed in links, by the way. So I have four here, three here. So I'm going to put one back, make it a little easier on myself, and then use the micro adjuster. So, oops, upside down. So I'm um, just going to wrap it up there. Uh, I am very, very happy with this watch. Uh, it will get a good deal of... Um, a good deal of uh, wrist time. Um, just happy. Happy to have it. Looking forward to the next Zelos that I pick up, uh, of course. But uh, I understand there's some new hammerheads on the way, some new abyss uh, on the way. So I'm looking forward to those. And uh, I'm sure Elshin has a few more surprises for us in the future. I don't think uh, I don't think the man sleeps, and certainly his brain doesn't sleep. The man uh, is coming up with ideas all the time, so I can't wait for the next one. Wouldn't you love to see one, him do a watch in in, uh, in a precious metal? I think I would. Maybe not a dive watch, but uh, maybe a simple three-hander dress watch in uh, white gold or something like that. Anyway, I'm musing for no reason um so if you like the uh video uh as usual i'd appreciate a thumbs up comments questions suggestions down below in the comment area the only thing i ask is that you keep it clean uh nasty stuff is deleted and the poster will be blocked ain't got time for that and uh if you're not already a subscriber please go ahead and click the subscribe button and uh, click the bell icon next to it so when I post new content, you are alerted. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you uh, enjoy the watch. I encourage you to go check out uh, Zelos' website. Uh, he has many offerings, and they are all excellent value for money. Have a good day.